Le Listen Ensemble est un orchestre à géométrie variable qui construit son interprétation de façon collaborative au travers de discussions, de débats, de négociations, en faisant circuler la parole. Il n'y a pas d'a priori directeur et chaque musicien a la possibilité d'être force de proposition dans la construction de cette interprétation. INSEE est une œuvre du compositeur américain Terry Riley, créée en 1964 dans la ville de San Francisco. C'est une œuvre ouverte qui laisse une grande liberté aux interprètes. La partition tient sur seulement une page où 53 cellules sont écrites, certaines contenant une seule note et d'autres pouvant aller jusqu'à constituer une entière phrase musicale. Chaque musicien a donc la liberté de choisir le nombre de répétitions pour chacune de ces cellules avant de passer au motif suivant. Et vous avez des, des superpositions rythmiques et polyphoniques qui se créent, une complexité où finalement la seule chose qui tient l'ensemble, c'est l'écoute collective. For my collaboration with Listen Ensemble, I was contacted by, uh, by Rafael Carosi, the artistic director of the ensemble. So we met in a cafe in, in Paris and uh, looked at the, at the score of In C of Terry Riley. It took me a little while to, to find my place uh, inside this, uh, this work. And I'm still learning how to work with so many musicians myself. So I, I've never done anything like this. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's a learning experience and it still is. I must admit the collaboration with the Listen Ensemble has been a really positive experience because the musicians seem very malleable uh, in their approach. Kind of different experiments with how people can spread in the space, what can be done with their sound are accepted very openly. It's actually a, a very smooth process. Well, Paul got in touch with me uh, quite a few years ago and then I met him in Barcelona in person, he came down to Barcelona. When we started developing 4D sound, we listened to a lot of particular music examples, music from artists that we felt were already expressing very explicit ideas about space in their music. And Murkov was one of the very clear uh, examples of inspiration for us, so we were thinking about his music. And yeah, I, I arrived to the 4D sound system with some preconceived ideas. I thought I could adapt my pieces to the, to the system, but then I deleted everything. It became really obvious that the system demanded a new approach uh, to composition because now space became a really important uh, aspect of, of the piece. Not only the, the other elements, are harmony, melody, rhythm, rhythm, but space became as important or perhaps more important than, than, than these other elements of the composition. Dès le départ, nous avons intégré le travail sur la spatialisation qui ajoute une dimension supplémentaire et qui, je crois, s'intègre parfaitement à l'esprit d'œuvre ouverte en ce sens que le spectateur devient acteur de sa propre perception. Il a la possibilité de se déplacer au cours de l'œuvre et de modifier son écoute selon l'endroit où il se trouve. Vous pouvez évoluer au fait d'une bulle acoustique à une autre et avoir à chaque fois un regard nouveau sur l'œuvre. So what you see here on the screen is actually a representation of uh, uh, how the musicians are placed in the room. So each of these boxes represents a physical source. Here is the guitar, there is the vibraphone, and there's also some sources which are moving around, and these are the, the electronic sounds from Murkov. Now there's also a few musicians who are going to be moving through the space with a UbiSense tracking system, so they also carry their, their sound source with them. So when they move, their sound also moves. But then we can also reverse this process. So when they move this way, suddenly their sound moves the other direction. Um, so again, we, we take the reality of the musicians in the space, we augment this in the system, and then we take it to a different place. We create a new world of sound that people can walk through and listen to. INSEE est une œuvre qui explore de nouvelles combinaisons à chaque interprétation et qui offre la possibilité de nouveaux surgissements. Et je crois que c'est une œuvre dont le cadre a été pensé pour permettre l'épanouissement créatif du musicien et lui offrir une forme de liberté. I hope we can make more presentations so we can take it all the time to new levels because uh, this piece is really open to many ways of, of interpreting. No? And then when you add 
acoustic elements and electronic elements and you mix them together you can mix them in so many ways and uh, it's a bit risky uh, but it also opens up many new possibilities so I'm just happy to be in part of, the, of this project. Thank you.